Hello and uh, welcome to using and finding and graphing uh, different indice logs. That means uh, logs of various numbers besides log 10 and log E. I've had several emails uh, from people concerned that the app uh, couldn't do logs other than log base 10 and log base E uh, and actually it can and so I have made this video to help you with that. I'm going to start with the graphing part uh, you notice that I'm already at the equations and graphs and I have typed in log base 10 that was from here and log base E that's this button and um, I just want to look at these graphs um, and then we'll see how to do graphs of various uh, indices so here I'm going to zoom in on this uh, let me slide this graph over just a little bit okay and so you'll notice that the uh, blue line here is for log base 10 and the green line is for LN or log base E. You'll notice there's a nice gap between them. So if I wanted to say find something like uh, what I've written down here, log base 6, well it should be between log base 10 and log base E since E is slightly smaller than 3. Uh, the log base 6 should be between these two, uh, both in this area and in this area. We should be able to see something between here. So I want to go back now to the equations editor and just remind you of uh, the change of base formula. Remember that the log uh, base 6 of x is the same thing as the log of x over the log of 6. And in fact you don't have to use the log button, you can use the ln button and the change of base formula says that the log base 6 of x is the same as the natural log of x over the natural log of 6. So I'm going to type that in here. So I have uh, a log of x divided by log of 6. And the 6 is because that was the indice here, the base indice uh, of the logarithm. I'm going to go graph this, take a look at it, and you'll see that uh, here, sure enough, the purple line is, I'm going to zoom in, you'll see that the purple line is below between uh, below log e but above log 10 which of course it's a 6 it should be that's what we expect and in both areas I can see it pretty clearly that yes it is definitely its own log is between these two and that is the graph of log uh, base 6 of x and um, I just want to e expand this one further and use the natural log button just to show you that yes it is exactly the same answer it's a ha very handy formula. It's one of my favorite formulas from this from this section um, in algebra, so he, or trig. And so here I have log x uh, ln x over ln six. Of course, this should be directly on top of this one. So let me just graph that, and um, you'll see, you'll see <laughs> it is. Uh, in fact, it's so exactly on top of it that. The purple line is uh, completely swallowed up by the, the yellow line here. We don't see the yellow anymore at all. So, and that's because um, they are exactly the same. So what I'd like to do now is uh, go over to the calculator and show you how to use the calculator to calculate something. Like say I wanted to find log base 6 of the number 4 here. So I'm going to go back and just find this. Uh, log base 6 of the number 4 on the calculator and again I'll do it the same way uh, we know that this should be the uh, natural log of 4 using the change of base formula divided by the natural log of 6 and so that's exactly what I'm going to type into the calculator I'm just going to say well I need the ln or natural log of 4 divided by the natural log of 6 and that according to the formula is exactly the same thing as log base 6 of 4 so I just type that in and I see I get 0 0.77370561447 and of course you'll round to wherever you need to but uh, this is how you find logs of any number and in fact uh, you know I pick nice pretty whole numbers but these could be fractions they could be decimals it could be pi um, it could be anything you you need and so the app does do logarithms of various bases and it will graph logarithms of various bases. Uh, if you have any issues at all, 
please send me an email. And this ends the session on using logs of various bases.